Okay, take two. Um, my phone rang in the middle of the last video. <laughs> um, anyways, so, hi everyone, I'm back. Um, uh, the last time I made a video, I had a really bad cold, and that lasted for quite a while, but I had to get antibiotics for it. And my doctor, he pretty much said that I'll probably always have to get excuse me, antibiotics every time I have a cold because even if it's just a viral thing um, and they would, you know, usually with regular healthy people just let it play out its course, um, they would always want to treat me as though it's bacterial just because... Um, with my immune system being low, they don't want to take the risk of letting it go and then it ended up being something bacterial and then that would be a big problem. So I'm pretty much going to have to get antibiotics every time. Um, so anyways, I think I had a, t a 10 day course of antibiotics and I believe I finished them I'm trying to think. I think I finished them the day before New Year's Eve, I think. Um, and then New Year's Day, I or sorry, New Year's Eve day, I woke up feeling really kind of nauseous with really bad heartburn. And I ended up throwing up like three times. And then I was just, like, beyond lupus fatigue for the whole weekend. And I pretty much stayed on the couch the entire long weekend. <coughs> so I had a wonderful New Year. And then I went back to work for about a week. And now I have another cold. It gradually got worse this past week. And now I have a really bad cough. And... A really sore throat and my nose is running but only out of this nostril which is really weird it gets stuffy on the side and then it runs constant like on and off all day and I've been taking cough medicine hoping that it would go away on its own the sore throat's a little bit better right now because of the cough medicine I hope um, but yeah if this carries on any further and gets worse or doesn't get better, then it's going to be antibiotics again. And I'm assuming this is all because I'm back in a daycare center um, surrounded by a bunch of germ-infested children. I mean, we have had children coming in sick with a fever and then we have to send them home because we discover they have this fever. A lot of parents will just not tell us that their child is sick and bring them in, which I don't like. <laughs> um, but of course my work has no idea about my lupus and they don't know anything about it. I mean, I wrote it on my emergency form that I have lupus, but, and my supervisor looked over my um, emergency form when I first started. And the only thing she zoomed in on was my enormous list of allergies to various antibiotics <laughs> um, but I think she completely either overlooked the lupus even though that was the first thing I wrote or she had no clue what lupus meant and didn't bother to ask um, and I'm struggling right now with should I tell them about it or shouldn't I um, but that'll be a whole other video I'm gonna try to make this under 10 minutes um, so I'm just really struggling because I am at work for eight and a half hours a day and by the time I get home, I am so exhausted that I hardly ever make dinner anymore. Alex has to make it all the time now, pretty much. I have no energy to make it. When I get home, I just lay on the couch for the whole evening. And that really sucks because... Basically, I haven't had energy to do anything 
that I enjoy doing. Like, I have hobbies that I want to do. I want, I, you know, right now I'm taking a break from reboarding my dolls, but once I get the Christmas decorations put away, whenever I have the energy to do that, um, I want to start making my dolls again, but I don't, at this point, I have no energy to do that. What I've been wanting to do over the last few weeks, because I've had, you know, some time off with Christmas and stuff, is that, oh, my battery's getting low, too, um, is that I, I've been wanting to do some scrapbooking, because I haven't done that in a long time, and I want to make an engagement scrapbook about Alex and mine's engagement, plus our wedding album and all these things like but I have no energy I just want to lay on the couch and that's it and um the weekend I'm tired exhausted as well so that sucks but anyways regardless of all that I had a really nice Christmas um Christmas Eve we went to Alex's mom's and um, she got me Secret Life of the American Teenager Season 2 on DVD, which I already have. So I exchanged it for the one that I need. And she also got me Season 10 of Seventh Heaven. Although I still need Season 9, but she couldn't find it, so she got me Season 10. So I have to pick up Season 9 um, and watch that first. And uh, we had a nice time. We had turkey dinner. And then Christmas Day, we went to my sister's, excuse me, and we had turkey dinner again. And, um, you know, we gave my niece and nephew their Christmas gifts and um, had a really good time. It was really nice to be invited to my sister's dinner. That was really great. So, um, yeah, so I, I, we seem to be connecting a bit more, which is good. Um, and then Boxing Day, we went to Alex's dad's and had another turkey dinner, and I got some nice new pants from them and a new shirt, <coughs> and we got some money, which was great, and actually got quite a bit of money, like, from my dad and grandparents and all that stuff. Money is good. Money is always good. And, um, and then... Uh, my mom came over on the 27th to give us some gifts, and we gave her her gift, and that was it, I think. And then we were supposed to go and, and have a nice turkey dinner again on New Year's Eve at my grandmother's on my mom's side. And uh, my aunt and uncle were supposed to come out, and um, that was the day that I got sick. So that didn't happen, so I didn't get to see my aunt and my uncle and grandmother for Christmas, which kind of sucked. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to show you some of the gifts that I got before I run out of time. Um, I got some nice bath and body works stuff. I got some hand soaps from the kids at the daycare, which antibacterial hand soaps from Bath and Body Works is always good. And another kid got me a lotion. And then Alex got me this lotion as well as a, a body butter. And he also got me their um, uh, little miniature body mist uh, to go, which was really nice. Um, and I got some chocolates. Oh, God, I got lots of chocolates from work uh, from the kids and stuff. And then my big gift from Alex uh, for Christmas was this um, iPod docking station right there. And uh, I've been wanting one for a while because my, my old stereo that had a five disc changer didn't read CDs anymore really. It, it read it when it wanted to, which was hardly ever. So yeah. Um, so he got me that, so now I can, I got to work on getting all my CDs transferred into my iPod so that I just have all my CD collection in my iPod and then um, I can listen to it on there and it has awesome sound too. Um, and I, I guess that's pretty much it. Like, uh, I can't think of anything else. It was just money and a lot, like a lot of money and 
um, things like that. We got, oh, my mentor got us a, a gift certificate for, a $50 gift certificate for our favorite restaurant, which is Mandarin Buffet. So we get to have a nice dinner there. And it was kind of funny. We got my sister and her husband. Now I'm over 10 minutes, so I'm going to have to do this on my computer instead of for my phone. But what up? Uh, um, so my sister got us a gift card for uh, a chain of restaurants. You can pick like from different restaurants to go to. And we got her and her husband the exact same gift card. <laughs> so like we basically bought each other the same thing. So we were, she was just saying like we should try to like maybe go out to dinner together or something. That would be f nice. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. So with all our our Christmas money, um, you know, we decided to get a boxy where you can watch like movies and TV shows you download through it, which we used to do that through the Xbox, but sometimes if you were watching something in HD or whatever, it would take forever to load or it wouldn't load or it wouldn't play properly or whatever. So this will play like anything like instantly. So it's a lot better. And so we, we just recently bought that like this past weekend actually like this weekend yesterday yesterday we bought that um and then also I have a new doll that I decided to order there's this artist that makes these amazing amazingly cute cloth dolls um and I've always wanted uh one of her dolls that she makes because I think they're just beautiful and so I ordered myself one of those to treat myself and um I don't really know if there's anything else. Well, I, I want to get my 7th Heaven uh, season as well. And I got a gift card for Walmart, $50 gift card. So I need to get some pants and shirts for work. So I think I'll probably do that as well. And that's probably it. I think I'll just save the rest because I'm hoping to save up for some trips um, in the hopefully near future um, and anyways I guess that's it there's really nothing else new I have an MRI this week for my heart and that's just because it's been like years since I've had one for my arrhythmia and the cardiologist just wants to check it out and I have been waiting a freaking year to get this MRI so it's about time and that's going to be this week so I actually get to take a day off work for that which I'm so happy about because I can relax at home before and I can relax at home after and there's a lupus support group meeting that night too so at least I won't have to be rushed from work to get to there I can actually relax at home make a nice dinner and we can head out there after um, so I guess that's it and I've showed you my gifts and um, I just hope this cold doesn't get as bad as the last cold. I hope that it starts to go away soon so I don't have to get antibiotics because I really don't want to make another doctor's appointment. And um, I have a couple of ideas for some topics on videos. Like I want to talk about lupus in the workplace and how I should deal with this situation. But that'll be a whole other video. So I'm going to sign off now because I want to get a crock pot soup going so that We'll already have dinner made for tomorrow, and um, I want to relax the rest of my evening. I just got back from seeing We Bought a Zoo with my mom and grandma. A very, very good movie. I really, really enjoyed it. It's a little bit emotional, um, and it has some funny moments and some touching moments, and I highly recommend everyone go see We Bought a Zoo. It's a great, great family movie. Um, yeah. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.